Hey guys, this is Dr. Lance Hightower in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Today what we're going to talk about is something that you hear all the time and no one talks about this therapy and I don't know why. I hear it all the time. And that is slip disc, bulge disc, herniated disc. And what I'm going to show with you today literally will save you so much time and thousands and thousands of dollars and there's not very many people that have them. And I don't know why, even chiropractors don't have this, but what we're going to talk about is the slip disc and bulge disc and herniated disc. Now you've heard that term, you hear it many people, studies show that out of every 10 people, at least about eight through their lifetime may suffer a herniated or bulge disc. Now the term, con the, the, the concept of slip disc does not actually give the exactness of what happens to a disc. Discs do not slip in and out. It's not like a poker chip that slides in and out. Discs are very tough fibrous tissue that exists between, that are sandwiched between the vertebra of the spine. There's about 23 of them. And it serves two purposes. One, it acts like a shock absorber when we're walking around and daily uh, activities of daily living and sports and things like that. It protects our spine, but also it acts as a spacer between the vertebra to give room for the exiting nerve roots that are coming off the spinal cord. Very important, very important. So when you have a disc that's bulged, or let's go ahead and just use the older term slipped, a lot of people instantly think surgery. My doctor said surgery or physical therapy. Now, I'm not gonna knock a doctor's opinions and I'm not gonna knock the physical therapist. I know physical therapists that really help uh, quite a bit. They know their stuff. But I will say this. There is a therapy that's been around that helps even better. And I'm going to be a little bit biased. I'm going to say between disc decompression therapy, which I have behind here, right behind me, and chiropractic has worked extremely well to immediately take pressure off those areas that have discs that are touching nerve roots or the spinal cord. Now, in most instances, you do want to attain at least an MRI prior to and do a good workup exam. It shouldn't take that long, but after a period of time, you gain experience, you just kind of know the client that would fit being a candidate for this. So if you're coughing, sneezing, straining, you uh, sit down and you find yourself going back or you cough <coughs> and it grabs at the lower back, you have pain at the back and or buttock, down the back of the leg, especially past the knee and into the foot. If you're dragging your foot, it hurts to straighten your leg out. Any of those things like that could be a bulge disc. It's possible. It's very possible and very likely, actually. That's a lot of the symptoms of a slip disc or a bulged or herniated disc. Now, um, you'll also hear the term disc extrusion. This decompression that I have here is not going to help that. Typically, that is a much more severe injury case to the disc, and typically disc extruded discs are a surgical emergency. Now, you would know that based on an MRI study, a magnetic resident imaging study. So MRIs are a wonderful type of scan to be able to determine disc. You cannot see disc on an x-ray, only bone tissue. You can make out shadows, and you can make out distances between bones and joints, but you cannot see the joint itself. So, disc decompression therapy has been around for many years, but when computers came into being, it made it so much better, so much better. So I can take someone on a herniated disc on the lower back, put them on this table for so many treatments. The average, it could be 12 up to 36. It really depends on the age of the client, the injury site of the disc. What do we have? A bulge disc, a disc herniation. How many levels are involved? Do we have L5, S1, L4, L5, L3, L4, all of them together? It's going to take a little bit more time. And is the person really heavy, right? People will say it doesn't affect it. I want to tell you right now, 20 years of practice, weight does affect disc tissue and how quickly it heals. It's no different like having the tires on your car out there if you have, oh, let's just say you have a truck and you pile it full of bricks in the back, it's going to wear out the tires and the shocks quick, isn't it? It's no different with cartilage in your knees and disc tissue in your lower back and or neck, believe it or not. So my disc decompressive therapy, right now I've got it set up for lower back and I could turn it around and also do it for the neck because the neck, you also, if you have disc issues in the neck, 
What kind of symptoms are you going to have? You're going to have pain going down into the arm. It could affect your ability to squeeze or strength holding a coffee cup or writing. Any of that's effective um, that could be affected. Also, you can have carpal tunnel-like symptoms without having carpal tunnel. Believe it or not. It seems like all doctors, when you have pain here, it's carpal tunnel. It's carpal tunnel. That is an incorrect statement. Actually, true carpal tunnel is when it affects the median nerve here in through the, the, the carpal tunnel area, and it affects the thumb, finger, middle, and a little bit on the median side of the ring finger. It affects the pinky. It's not carpal tunnel. That's a different nerve, right? So anyway, just to fill you in real quickly, I'll do another video on carpal tunnel syndrome. So anyway, we can definitely look, we can do traction here. This automated unit is so cool. It's, I can set the parameters, I can set weight, tension, it does it automatically. It's very comfortable. It is painless. It's painless. The average cost too, let's go to cost real quick because I said you would save thousands. The average cost of a low back surgery. Now, that can mean a whole host of things there, but I'm just gonna say the average cost with no complications is gonna be probably around 25 to 35 grand. That's just off the cuff of my head from people that I know that's had surgery, some of the surgeons that I know. Now, the average cost per session on mine is gonna be around, this, this, this decompression therapy for lumbar is gonna be somewhere, a session is somewhere around 30 to 40 minutes. Protocol is about 45, so it could be around $75 per session. But still, when you add all that up, that's gonna be dirt cheap compared to not having surgery. You're able to get around easier. When you have surgery, you go through, uh, you go through uh, a healing phase. When you go through healing phase, then you have a rehabilitation phase, you're off work. With this therapy right here, you're going to work still. We may put you on a light duty work. You may have to wear a belt, do some things at the home, no lifting, right? So at least you're continuing, but you're healing slow. This tissue heals very slow. So that's the first thing you want to know. It's not immediately quick, okay? So you got to be patient. You got to be patient. Sometimes I'll help my patients with other things they can do on the natural end to help with all the inflammation and swelling. But the key is you don't want to rush things and it does work. It's painless. It's a non-surgical way to help heal and repair disc. It's called decompression therapy. It's been out a long time. Uh, they have them for neck and lower back. And so uh, maybe on another video, I'll show you how I set some of my clients up. It works very, very well. So I hope this gives you some insight that this decompression therapy has been out a long time. There is a non-surgical means that can help out there. You can get on, do some Google, whatever you want uh, out there. There's a lot of these machines that are out and about, not too many of them at Tulsa, which is quite shocking. And um, they look many different ways. There's a lot of manufacturers that's, uh, you know, when it gets right down to it, really, even though the machines may look a little bit different, it depends on the person putting you on that makes all the difference in the world. That's what matters when it comes to getting reproducible, painless results that last. So uh, I hope this helped. If you have any questions, you can always call my office number at 918-884-5519, or you can go to my website at drlancehightower.com. Take care. I hope this has been informative, and I'll see you later.